What is up, everyone? So the New Orleans Saints made a move. It wasn't really the move that everybody was expecting. Everybody was expecting the, the New Orleans Saints to sign Traveris Cadet or anybody else. But the New Orleans Saints went ahead and signed running back Zach Zenner, who was released by the Detroit Lions in August of 2019. Now, let me tell you guys right now, I am one of the biggest Zach Zenner fans on planet Earth. And I think it's a huge coincidence that we actually went out and signed Zach Zenner. Uh, my brother is a huge Detroit Lions fan. Uh, one of the reasons I was so heated about that game on Monday night, they totally got cheated, but whatever. Uh, the NFL needs to have a huge conversation about that officiating problem because it's bad. Uh, the officiating is terrible. But <clears throat> we signed Zach Zenner, and this is somebody that I've watched over the years and always was a very, very, very big fan of. You can ask anybody in my family, whenever Detroit Lions game would come a uh, games would come on, I would root for this guy. I love Zach Zenner. And um, coincidentally enough, the New Orleans Saints actually went and signed Zach Zenner in their time of need. So what this means is that they, you don't get your hopes up for Alvin Kamara starting on Sunday, um, because or not starting, but playing at all on Sunday, because it's, it's fairly obvious that it, it's just probably not going to happen. The New Orleans Saints are out here making moves for running backs. They were talking, they had uh, Traveris Cadet come visit and all that stuff. Poor dude got his hopes up, but he just wasn't picked. Zach Zenner is somebody that I think has been misused over time. I don't think the Detroit Lions used him correctly at all. He is a beast. If you want some highlights, the question of the day, do you want me to post some Zach Zenner highlights? I will double up on uploads today just so I get my point across and how good Zach Zenner can actually be. Whenever he is used, he is a great running back, but he isn't used often. He isn't the fastest guy. But he is strong. He is very elusive. He has good balance. Who does he remind me of? Oh, yeah, Alvin Kamara. Is he as good as him on, on any level, in any dimension, or in any other planet on this earth or in this galaxy? Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit retarded right now. No, he's not. He's not anywhere nearly as good as any of the players, you know, Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara, but he is serviceable. He is very good. He can make people miss. Let's go over some of his stats. So I choose... I, 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 I choose. I chose the two years he was used most. Okay, the two years he was used most: 2016 and 2018. 2017 he wasn't used. Uh, I don't know why the Detroit Lions didn't use him as much as they did, but they had Theo Riddick in front of him. He just wasn't producing as well. In 2016, Zach Zenner played in 14 games. Now that can mean he only took a, one snap in a couple of games and still got arched for 14. He only started four times. Out of those 14 games, he had 88 rushes for 334 yards and four touchdowns. He also had 23 targets, 18 receptions for 196 yards. So what does that tell me as a avid uh, NFL fan that has never watched the Detroit Lions before, that you know supports the Saints but isn't that big into it? He can go out there, he can get the ball, and he can do something with it. 88 rushes for 334 yards is not bad at all. He also had four touchdowns on top of that. He is a very, very, very strong runner. And when I'm telling you that man can juke, he can break some ankles, he can put some people on their butt, te just let me know. Do you guys want highlights of this dude? Because I promise you, once he gets out on that field, he is going to play phenomenal. I'm very, the, the reason I'm so excited about us signing Zach Zenner is one, Alvin Kamara may be out a couple games. Um, they were talking about a uh, ankle issue, then it was an MCL sprain, and now it's a high ankle sprain type deal. We're not really 100% sure what his injury is. We're going to find out more. Uh, the Saints really only had a very, very, very small walkthrough today. Um, you know, Alvin Kamara wasn't there at the open media portion. Uh, that's something to look at. But Thursday and Friday will give us a bigger glimpse into his condition. Uh, let us know what he is on the injury report for um, so we can, you know, gauge how long he may be out um, off of that. But Sean Payton, the, the reason I'm so excited we got Zach Zenner is because when you watched him play in Detroit, he did things on his own. No plays were ever really set up for him. He was sometimes a last resort. Matt Stafford would just check it down to him, and he would go and get those 10 yards for the first down. He'd break out for 20 or 30 yards. He made plays by himself. He was not being utilized by the coaching staff. The coaching staff in Detroit had no idea what they had in their hands, but his talent showed through regardless. He is an older back. He's not very old. Uh, I should have gotten this beforehand, but, you know, it, it's just... 
just how I am. He is five foot 11, 224 pounds. He is 28 years old. So he's, he's, he, he's, not, he's not old. He is a young running back, but still has the experience to go out there and do things that rookie or younger running backs couldn't do. In 2018, he only he played in eight games. That's it. He only played in eight games. I don't know why he was so underutilized, but he was. In those eight games, he started one time, had 55 rushes for 265 yards and three touchdowns. He had 10 targets for seven receptions of 56 yards. The season beforehand in 2016, I don't know if I read his uh, reception stats, he had 23 targets, 18 receptions, and 196 yards. So he is one of those running backs that can get the ball, um, get, catch the ball and run with it and make plays using his legs. I'm so excited about this signing. Now, the details for the contract have not yet emerged, but as soon as they do, I will post them in the comments below and pin it. But the New Orleans Saints went out and signed Zach Zenner. I don't know, I don't know if anybody else on this earth right now is, is as excited as I am about this guy. Uh, he's very he's a phenomenal running back. He can go out there and make plays, and I'm super, super, super excited to see if he gets the nod or if he plays at all in the Chicago game this week. That's a big testament to Alvin Kamara's uh, health. Um, it clearly isn't in the best condition, but, man, am I excited for Zach Zenner. So um, the New Orleans Saints, they dropped Stephon Anthony during this process. So Stephon Anthony is not currently on the roster, but there are – people saying that they plan on bringing him back so I don't know how long this stint with Zach Zenner is going to go um, we haven't gotten the the word yet but we will definitely be hearing about that soon but I don't know man I just I feel really good about this I feel like if there's anybody that can bring the potential out of Zach Zenner it is Sean Payton he brought the potential out of the third round pick Alvin Kamara he can do it here and I'm here for it I can't wait to watch it I'm super excited Zach Zenner signed by the New Orleans Saints. No clue how long. I'm just going to sit here and be honest. I'm glad it wasn't Travaris Cadet. I'm not a huge fan of Travaris Cadet. He never really did anything spectacular for us. He was never that guy that could go out there and, and secure a first down for you. That is what Zach Zenner can do. And paired with Latavius Murray next week against Chicago, we can all sleep easier knowing that we're not going to have Travaris Cadet in the backfield. Um, you might see Dwayne Washington get some snaps as well. There's going to be a very interesting combination with these running backs come Sunday if, you know, it is, in fact, a uh, off day for Alvin Kamara, which I think regardless of his situation, the New Orleans Saints need to sit Kamara against Chicago, at least against Chicago. If you want to play him versus Arizona, go ahead. They're not one of those defenses that will beat you up, but Chicago will show no mercy they know about Alvin Kamara's injury. They know where it's located. They're going to hit him in that area. They're going to try to give their team the best chance to win. And if that, if that takes hitting Kamara a little bit in the ankle or banging up his knee, they're going to do it. Chicago is one of those defenses that don't show mercy. So uh, I don't think it's smart to play him against such a high-powered defense with such a good defensive line. Just sit him out. Let him take a week off. Let's see what Latavius Murray and Zach Zenner as a duo can do. Um, Dwayne Washington getting in there as well, as I previously stated. This is huge. Uh, may not be huge to y'all, but it's huge to me. I'm super excited that the New Orleans Saints went out and got Zach Zenner. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone else feels the same as me, but I'm excited. Great value, Christian McCaffrey. Welcome to New Orleans. I accept you with open arms. I hope you can get out there and do at least something, which I know you can. The coaching with Sean Payton, ugh, this is a match made in heaven. I'm telling you guys, I watched him play in Detroit. He made plays but never got put out on the field to make plays after he would make plays. Very disgusting situation. A complete loss of talent for Detroit. Uh, they cut him. And now they're, they, it's because of Carrion Johnson. You guys know who Carrion, my wayward son Johnson is, right? He's over there in Detroit making plays. He's a really good running back. They got him, uh, put Theo Riddick as backup, and dropped Zach Zenner, and we picked him up. Huge steal for the New Orleans Saints. I'm telling you guys right now, if this is big. If you, if you, if you, the question of the day, do you guys want Zach Zenner highlights? Let me know. Is it that important to make highlights about? Am I overreacting? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, boys, it's going to be a big game versus Chicago. Bench Alvin Kamara. Let's put Zach Zenner out and see what he can do. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. Latavius Murray is Zach Zenner. That sounds very, very nice to me. And let's hope that Alvin Kamara is on a fast track to recovery. 
Um, hopefully, he, we won't even have to start anybody else against Chicago. But precautionary, let him sit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. Let me know what you think about the Zach Zenner signing down in the comments below, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios.